Hey guys, welcome to my, my second review for the night. And in this one, I want to cover the new Komodo System Cleaner. And uh, this this is a version 3.0, just came out not that long ago, maybe a week or so. And in um, in this version, it's been completely redesigned. Um, not only is the interface different, but it's um, completely different on how it operates. Before, when they used to clean things, they used to have a heuristics engine that used to um, check to see if there were files that needed to be cleaned up. And after they did some research, they found out that that's not the most efficient way to do it, and it's also not the safest way to do it. Now, what they did is it's all about um, having signatures. Uh, and these signatures are basically things that were checked by a human being somewhere in front of a computer to make sure that they are deleting what they need to delete and then it automatically updates itself with new you know signatures fingerprints whatever you want to call it about once a day and um, they also have something new called active clean now what active clean does is you turn it on and then you can close up Komodo system cleaner and it automatically all the time with whatever profile is set up it cleans your computer all the time in the background so you don't have to open it up, clean your computer, close it down, open it up, close, you know, you just, it just automatically does that. And it's got a little help thing here, a little question mark, if you need a little help on how it works. Like I said, their, um, their new help features here for Komodo are really, really great. Somebody spent a lot of time working on these. So if you ever need any explanation or anything, you can find it right here. So they also have a registry cleaner now. And uh, they have a quick, normal, and in-depth clean. And here, you, if you drop down the arrow, you can find the uh, arrow, you know, whatever it's checking for. And the arrows, found, the errors found, and errors selected. You can also um, schedule it. You can uh, view the profile options if you want to make it your default. I think the default on everything is quick clean, if I remember right. Or if there's something here, you can just click clean. Now, everything that gets cleaned in here, it will go into restore. They'll have a backup. So you can easily restore if something bad happens. And then they also have different settings here. Um, you can create a restore point. You can back up. It'll do warnings. You'll use registry protection if you want to do that. But from the factory, I recommend just to leave it just like it is. And it comes with a backup. You can schedule it if you want, like I said. So it happens a certain time of day. Then they also have a privacy cleaner. Once again, basic, normal, aggressive clean. Um, here you can, it has all the programs that they have signatures for installed and certain things are already checked. So if I have, uh, let's say, VLC media player, it will uh, erase bookmarks and messages. So I have one there and one there. But the playlist isn't selected, even though there's something that could be. It's all up to you on how you want to do that one. And then, of course, if you pop the up arrow here, if you go to like a basic clean, only certain things will be selected on a basic clean. Once again, there's uh, schedules, um, options. If you change anything here, like let's say I went to that VLC one here and I selected this one you're gonna have to give it a custom profile name because you're making changes to it and it's it's changed from the factory uh, what else they have a disk cleaner here quick clean or full clean once again these check different things it checks recycle bin windows log files temp files other files um, and here in the temp files, you see it says 435 errors because these temp files aren't selected yet. Um, but the temp directory is. Now the thing is, these change throughout the time. I think there's a timer set up on these. So after 24 hours, it starts to select them. I haven't checked that, but I'm almost sure it's something like that. It does have a duplicate file cleaner. You can. Um, check your whole computer movies music pictures you can select a specific area that you want it to check uh, it's a little bit basic I'd like to see them add on some things here um, that way I could get rid of 
my us uh, logics duplicate file finder some of the things that I'd like them um, to have on adding here is skip certain files so you know um, basically I'd like them to, to, to beef it up to where I could get rid of the OS logics which means some things like under scan options ignore file names ignore dates if I wanted to check it by let's say MD5 or something um, and you know it, and ignore files smaller than whatever I'd like them to have that in there if I wanted to change that that's one other thing but they, they still got a little bit to work on that of course it's got a restore it's got settings here schedules now it also has a force delete module so if you have anything that's locked up and you try to delete it and it won't you can always add here you can add files registry keys that are locked you can uh, move from one place to another if you need to it's got recent activity here and it's also got a shredder which is to delete permanently delete files or folders you can do a whole drive you can do a whole disk um, it'll just completely delete everything uh, what else here uh, pe some people I see some people complaining that it has a process and this is needed because this runs actively all the time and whenever you open it up you don't have to wait for it to scan your system to see what errors and things pop up this is actively running in the background and every time you open up the interface here this is already filled in with how many errors and everything so you don't have to wait for it to scan that being said the um, the task is not that big it doesn't use up a lot of RAM uh, where is it it's right there and this is open right now and it's using four megs I've seen it where it goes down to nothing basically some of the other things you have different settings here for active clean um, you can change different things you can run the application if you want when Windows starts but I just leave it the way it is like I said it automatically checks for updates so you can update if you want but like you get a little window here that pops up you got an about here the, the version some feedback if you want to send anything if you want to leave a comment it's got help here live PC support if you need it uh, but that's of course the pay thing and it also has a, uh, a backup here if you want to uh, back up your settings and all that stuff that you've made any changes to it to the program you can back up your settings to it so that's really about it um, I really don't see anything else to talk about it I've used it for the last week and a half and I have not seen any problems with the system um, seems really safe to me now the one before wasn't bad but it kinda gave me some some weird problems every now and then but this one I haven't noticed any problems with it and as usual you know of course they're improving it if they would you know change a couple little things here and there and you know hopefully you know they will of course and as time goes on they're gonna work on it some more but there's a quick little overview on uh, the new Komodo system cleaner. I I personally haven't noticed any problems with it whatsoever, and it works great. And I uh, I've added it to my toolkit that I use with my other ones. So I have the system cleaner, you know, and the OSLogix registry, and the using registry cleaner, and all those three. I've cleaned them all one after the other rebooted and then I compacted the registry that's is one thing I'd like to see them add is maybe a registry defrag where I could compact the registry after it cleans it that'd be a nice little feature here that they could add on but I noticed no problems I re system rebooted instantly everything worked great so that's it for this little quick review on uh, Komodo system cleaner definitely give it a try you know um, works great on my computer so um, I'll talk to everybody later take care have a good night